Hi everybody, it's Miss Beck, and today we're going to be doing a math lesson um, concerning tens frames. Now, um, we've used a tens frame before in class, and does anybody remember why they call it a tens frame? Well, they call it a tens frame because it has 10 boxes. Let's count those boxes. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, when we first started out to school, we didn't use a ten strength. Do you remember what we used? It only had five. You said a five strain, you're right. We started with a five strain and then we moved to a ten strain. So when you have a ten strain, you can show any number one through 10, but do you guys know what number you have when you fill it all the way up? Let's see. I'm gonna fill up every box on the tens frame. I'm filling them up with circles that look like our counters. All right, so when I fill in every box of the tens frame, how many do I have? Count with me. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. When I fill in all the numbers on the tens frame, all the dots, I have ten. So the most that a tens frame can hold is ten. Now remember, Miss Beck said I could show you any kind of number one through ten. Um, today we're going to practice looking at these numbers quickly. So if you watch the video ahead of me, subitize really fast. When we subitized before, we had to look at the number and think quick. The reason we want to think quick is we want to pretty much have these number numbers memorized in our mind. Okay, so I'm going to do a few numbers and. We're not gonna do these especially quick, but I do have a game we're gonna do when we do them quick. So, what number did Miss Beck show? I'll show you one more time. Can you hold up how many fingers of the number I showed? Ding, ding, ding. If you said five, you were correct. There were five in the tens frame. And you can also tell that even if you didn't count them, you could tell that because you could see that the whole top row was filled up, okay? All right, let's show you another number. This time I'm gonna take some away from that five and I'm gonna have less. Did you see it? How many did Miss Beck have? Hold up your hand and show me the fingers of how many I had. Doo -doo -doo. If you said three, you are right. I showed the number three on the tense frame. Three dots. Thumbs up. All right, now let's do a number that's gonna be bigger. This time I'm gonna fill in the whole top row and two more. So see if you can think about what number I have. When I fill in the whole top row and two more on the bottom, show you one more time. How many do I have? If you said seven, you are right. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, remember when we were talking about tens frame, we said we didn't have to show it like five and two all the time. What could we do? What if we had three up here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How many do we have on the bottom? One, two, three, four. Three plus four equals seven. What if I had two? One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven. So two and one, two, three, four, five makes seven. Now I'm gonna ask you a question and I might trick you. Can I do six and one on this right here? And I show six on the top row of 10 frame. Let me try it. One, two, three, four, five. Uh-oh, I can't show six. I can't show six because the five frame only has five um, boxes on the top. Now, if I wanted to show six, I have to come to the next row just like we did before. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, let's do another number. This time I'm gonna do one that's pretty big. In fact, it's one less than if you filled up the whole tens frame. Do you have an idea what that number would be? Well, when I fill in a tens frame, it has 10. I don't know what number is one less than 10. I'll show it to you real quick. Did you see it? What number did Miss Beck show on the tens frame? It's one less than 10. Let's see your fingers, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's see. Did Miss Beck show nine on the tens frame? Thumbs up. All right, so now I'm gonna show you um, I'm on the screen here and we're going to do quick, we're going to start looking at them a little bit quicker, okay? We looked at them fairly slow, but we were learning what to do. All right, friends, let's grab a bottle of water and fix So today we're going to do some tens frame practice and I'm going to flash up a number in the tens frame and you are going to um, look at the number really, really quick and I'm going to hide it and you can yell out what the number is. Thank you. show. All right, so remember the object is to think quick. New slideshow from the beginning. What's the number? One, hooray! What's my number? Four, good. What's my number? What's my number? Eight. Eight is great. What's my number this time? Alive and five. Ooh, that was easy. Two. What's my number? Six. Awesome. One more than six. Seven, you got it. What's my number? Three, woohoo! What's my number? One less than three. Two, you got it. Very good. Okay, so do you think this time we can go a little bit faster? All right, let's see if we can do it. One, four, ten. Eight, five, two, six, seven, three, two. 
Right. All right, we're going to do it one more time as fast as we can go. One, three, four, four, ten, eight, five, two, six, seven, three, two. You guys did an awesome job. Thank you for practicing um, quick frames, quick 10 frames with Miss Beck. Bye-bye.